This is the necklace that we're going to make. And this is the necklace in another color combination. So let's talk about the materials we're going to need. For this necklace, you're going to need six millimeter round beads. I have 36 of them here, and that will make about a 16 inch necklace, including the clasp. So you may need more if you want it longer. You're also going to need super duos. And you're going to need 11 Toho seed beads in two colors and 8 seed beads in a coordinating color and jump rings and a clasp to finish it off. So let's get started. I'm using a size 10 needle with six pound fire line. And I'm going to start by putting an 11 an 8 and an 11 seed beads in the base color. I'll string that on, and then I want to go back up through those three seed beads to form a loop. Then I can tie a knot. Then I'm going to string on a super duo, an eight, a super duo, and three eleven O's in the accent color. Then I want to go through the other hole of the last super duo I added. Then I want to add a super duo and go through the other hole of the first super duo. I add two base color 11 O seed beads and go back through the tip of the super duo. I add two of the accent color 11 O seed beads and I go through all three super duos. And here's where I will continue through the three seed beads I started with. One, two, and three. Now I want to go through the edge here, the Super Duo and 8, as well as the next Super Duo and 11 -0. So I've gone through that Super Duo and that 8. Now I want to go through this Super Duo and 11 -0. Next, I'm going to string on an eight seed bead, six millimeter round bead, another eight, an 11 O, a super duo, another eight O seed bead, super duo, and three accent 11 O's. 
And I'll string that on. I'm going to go back through the other hole of the last Super Duo I added. Pull that tight. We add a super duo and go through the other hole of the previous super duo. Add two base color 11 O's and go through the tip. We add two accent color 11 O's and go through all three super duos. We add two base color 11 O's. We want to go through this 11 O before the super duo, through the super duo and the eight, as well as the next super duo and accent color 11 O. So we've gone through one, two, three, go through this next super duo and the accent color 11 O. Like before, I'm going to add on an 8 O seed bead, a 6 millimeter, and an 8 seed bead, an 11 O base color seed bead, super duo, 8 O seed bead, super duo, and three accent color 11 O's. And we'll string that on. I want to go through the other hole of the last Super Duo I added. Add a Super Duo, go through the other hole of the previous Super Duo. We add two base color 11 O's and go through the tip. Add two accent color 11 O's and go through all three super duos. Add two base color uh, 11 O's and I want to go through the 11 O before the super duo, the super duo, the eight the Super Duo, and the Accent 11. And this is the pattern that we repeat until we have the desired length of the necklace. I'm going to do it one more time to reinforce the pattern. I'm going to string on an 8-0 seed bead, a 6 millimeter round bead, and an 8-0, followed by an 11-0 base color, Super Duo, an 8-0 seed bead, Super Duo, and three accent 11-0s. I'm going to string that on. I want to go through 
the other hole of the last super duo I added. Add a super duo and go through the other hole of the previous super duo. Add to base color 11 O's and go through the tip. Add two accent color 11 O's and go through all three super duos. I add two base color 11 O's and I go through the 11 O before the super duo, super duo, the 8 O, the super duo, and the accent 11 O. So I'm going to continue this pattern until I'm one component from the end. Then I'll show you how to end that first row and start the second. Okay, I've just put on my 18th 6 millimeter round bead and I'm ready to make my last component of the first row. So the only thing different is the last three seed beads. So I put on an 8 seed bead, a 6 millimeter, and an 8 seed bead. I put on an 11-0 base color seed bead, super duo, an 8-0, and a super duo, followed by an accent 11-0, an 8, and an 11-0, instead of the three 11-0 accent colors. So the only difference is this bead, which is what the jump ring will go through. So I string that on. I go through the other hole of the last super duo I added. Add another super duo and go through the other hole of the previous super duo. Pull that tight. Add two base color 11 O's and go through the tip. Add two accent color 11 O's and go through all three super duos. Pull tight as you go. I add two base color 11 O's and I go through the 11 O before the super duo, the super duo, the 8 O, and continue through the next super duo and seed bead. this point, I'm going to continue through the large seed bead and through the next seed bead and all three super duos. And then I want to go down the last two seed beads. Now I'm ready to make my second row, so I'll flip this around. And coming out of this seed bead here, we'll start the second row. 
I'm ready to start my second row. So I start with eight base color 11 O's, a super duo, and two accent 11 O's. I string that on. Then I want to go through the other hole of the super duo, the tip of the super duo again. I'm going to add nine 11 0 accent colors, a super duo, and two base colors. And I'll add that on. And I want to go through the other hole of the super duo and up through the last two. Then I want to add one seed bead and go back up through all of the accent color seed beads. There we go. All but the last one. And through the last one there. Then I want to add six accent color seed beads and go up through and around and down. So I'll go up through all five of these accent seed beads. One, two, three, four. Through that fifth seed bead Across the super duo, the eight, the next super duo and C bead, and now I want to go down these C beads. So I've gone up and around. Now we're starting the part that's going to repeat. So we add eight base color seed beads, a super duo, and two accent super, uh, seed beads. I go through the other hole of the super duo and up through the last two on the other side. And then I pull that tight. And I put on seven base color seed beads and I want to go through the two base color seed beads on the end here. Then I want to put on 10 base color 11 O's, followed by super duo and two accent color seed beads. I want to go back through the other hole of the super duo. And up through 
the last two seed beads on the other side. Here we're going to make a, a drop. Put on an 11-0, followed by an 8 seed bead, a 6 millimeter, and another 11-0. And we string that on. We go back up through the six millimeter bead and the eight C bead after it. Pull that tight. Then we add an accent color C bead and go through these two accent color C beads. Then we're going to put on 10 accent color seed beads, a super duo, and two base color seed beads. String that on. Want to go through the other hole of the super duo and back up through the last two on the other side. And we add seven accent color seed beads and we go through these two accent color seed beads. Then we add six accent color seed beads and we want to go through all of these accent color seed beads across and down. Going through the first four. And going across the top. Continuing through the super duo and seed bead, and then back down these seed beads. So we've just completed kind of a figure eight up here, and that's kind of what we're going to repeat over and over again until we get to um, until we have one bead left and we'll graduate it back up on the other side. So I'm, I'm going to um, repeat this a couple more times to get the, the steps down and then we'll show you how to end the necklace. So starting our figure eight under this six millimeter round bead we're going to add eight base color seed beads, a super duo, and two accent color seed beads. String that on, go through the other hole of the super duo, and back up through the last two on the other side. Add seven 11 O's in the base color and go through these two base color seed beads. Add 10 11 O's, super duo, and two accent color seed beads. String that on. 
go back through the other hole of the super duel and back up through the last two Add an 11-0 seed bead, an 8-0 seed bead, a 6 millimeter round bead, and another 11-0. String that on, go back up through the 6 millimeter and the 8 seed bead. Add an accent color seed bead and go through these two accent colors. Add 10 accent color seed beads, the Super Duo, and two base colors. String that on. Go back through the other hole of the Super Duo and back up through the other two seed beads. Add seven accent color seed beads and go through these accent color seed beads. Add six accent color seed beads. And we wanna go up and around and down. Going through that last super duo and seed bead and back down these four seed beads. We've just made two figure eights. We're going to make a third. Start with eight base color seed beads, a super duo, and two accent seed beads. String that on. Go back through the other hole of the super duo and back up through the two last two seed beads on the other side. Add seven base color seed beads and go down through these two base color seed beads. Add 10 base color seed beads, super duo, and two accent color seed beads. String that on, go back through the other hole. and up through the last two on the other side. We had an 11-0, an 8 seed bead, a 6 millimeter, and another 11-0. Let me string that on. We go back through the 6 millimeter seed bead and the 8 or six millimeter round bead and the eight seed bead. 
we add an accent color seed bead and continue through these two accent color seed beads. Add 10 accent color seed beads, a super duo, and two base color seed beads. String that on. Go back through the other hole of the super duo. Back up through the last two seed beads on the other side. Add seven accent color seed beads and go through these two accent color seed beads. Add six accent color seed beads and we want to go up and around this component. So through the first two seed beads. And the next two. Seed bead super duo, an eight seed bead in the middle. For the last super duo, and seed bead along the top, and down these four on the side. And as you continue, this will this will tend to pull out, and so you just can continue making these shapes all the way till you get to the end before your last six millimeter. So I'll continue this to the end of the necklace. I've continued the second row until I'm almost at the end here. I just have to finish it off under this last pearl here. Um, I've put my last pearl on the bottom here and so I'm going to start this last component by putting on eight base color seed beads, a super duo, and two accent color seed beads. And I string that on. I go back through the other hole of the super duo. And then I go up through the last two on the other side. Next, I put on seven base color seed beads and I go through these two base color seed beads. Then I'll add one seed bead and I'm going to go back up through eight of the seed beads. Then I'll go through the tip of this super duo. And up through these accent seed beads. Then I add six accent seed beads and I want to go up through these last accent color seed beads. Go two more. Go through the top here.
you're the last super duo in seed bead. And I'm gonna go make a couple of rounds of, to, to turn some corners in this, these seed beans on the end. Now I can um, put my needle through here so that both threads are coming. The thread I started with and the thread I'm ending with coming out of the same side and I can tie a knot here. Now I can just snip the ends and then add the clasp with jump rings. I've snipped off the ends and so now I can add the clasp. I first open my jump ring I feed it through the large seed bead. I add the clasp and then close the jump ring. Now I just add the jump ring to the other end. Open the jump ring. Feed it through the large seed bead. And close it. Now we have a working clasp. And that is how you make the necklace.